You know what's the worst part of rounding forever? Hanger. So whether I was a medical student, a resident, or attending, I always had snacks on rounds. But I feel like I was the only person who had snacks on rounds. Does anyone else bring snacks on rounds? So today I'm going to talk about my favorite snacks to bring on wards. So this is hanger prophylaxis. The key characteristics of a good snack to bring on wards are two things. One is that they're bite-sized and two, they can fit well in your white coat pocket. So first up, fig bars. So fig bars are awesome because they're bite-sized. Well, sort of bite-sized. It actually takes me like maybe three or four bites. So be a little careful because if you do take it in one bite, then this might happen. So uh, let's skip forward to patient Johnson. I think he's pretty sick. Hey, um, can you can you just present? Fifty-year-old male history of poorly. So be careful. Make sure your team is not about to round on your patient before you stop your mouth. Next, we have verb bars. Here they are, and I just started out on YouTube. So heck no, I'm not making money from this at all. I genuinely love these bars because they're tiny, they're really small, and they have, and this is a big seller, they have caffeine. And it's equivalent to one cup of espresso. So be careful with these on rounds because caffeine is a diuretic, and I can definitely attest to this. We have, you know, Mr. So-and-so with a... Uh... By the way, if you do end up getting some, I highly recommend the cookie butter flavor and the peppermint mocha flavor. So third, you know, we work so hard, we totally deserve free snacks. So yes, I am talking about those hospital snacks that are meant for patients, but you know, you could grab a couple. You just gotta be a little sneaky. The best is when you dip these graham crackers in the hospital free peanut butter. So, pro tip. Fourth, you can stop by the chief's office. So if you have good chief residents, you have access to candy. Ooh. The warning I have for this one though is that you might get trapped in small talk. So guys, I hate small talk. Like I've literally seen someone I know and turned around and walked to a whole different set of elevators just to avoid small talk. Some might call that social anxiety. But anyways, just grab the candy and back out. Say that a patient's crashing and you gotta go. And lastly, almonds. So almonds are, I guess, kind of the ideal snack because they are just individual tiny little things and a Ziploc bag fits very nicely in your white coat and you can very subtly just kind of reach in your white coat, grab one and pop it in your mouth between patients. Just sanitize your hands of course and don't choke. So those are my favorite snacks to bring on wards. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos on how to succeed in medicine, including avoiding hanger.